Well, you guys, it just feels like forever since the last time we saw an MCU movie. I am so excited for this one. What is going on, Draw 2 crew? Remedy here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys, and I just saw Captain Marvel, so let's finally draw Captain Marvel. You guys have been asking for this tutorial for quite a while, actually. Real quick, you guys, on this channel, I make a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorials of your favorite fictional characters, so if you guys like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that notification bell as well, and don't forget to like this video afterwards. In the movie Captain Marvel, you guys, she shows up in two different costumes. The first one being the Star Force costume, which is the green, silver, and black one. And of course, you've got the yellow, uh, red, and blue one, which is her costume, which is kind of based off of the comics costume. So um, in this tutorial, you guys, you can have one or the other, depending on what you want to do and how you want to color it, you can have the Star Force costume or the actual Captain Marvel costume. So you guys have that option in this tutorial. This is going to be a long tutorial and I do want to preface it by saying that, you know, the goal is not to create a character that looks like Brie Larson. The goal is to create the character of Captain Marvel. So focus on that instead. So let's begin. Be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. And having said all of that, let's get started with our Captain Marvel drawing. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with our Captain Marvel tutorial. Now, this has been a long time coming. You guys have been asking for this tutorial for a while. So here it is. I've got my paper in portrait mode and we're going to be drawing her kind of mid thigh. And for the most part, it's just a female figure with a whole bunch of intricate um, lines in the costume. And remember that uh, the goal is not to make it look like the actress. All we have to do is get a likeness of the character and that's all uh, we're really striving for. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, start off with a circle right here. And I'm going to draw it about this big. Now this is going to be symmetrical both sides this way. Okay, so you want to kind of draw things going down the center of my page. Maybe I should have done that earlier. Maybe I should have done this first. But hey, there's the center of the page there. We're going to try to make things look pretty much the same on each side. Okay, so here, let's draw the, the cheeks. And then they sort of come to a point right here. So here's the jawline. And then here's the chin right there. Okay, you don't want to make the, uh, the chin too square looking. So don't worry about that too much. Okay, so there's the head part, of course, and then you got the neck sort of going down like that, one on each, one line on each side. And then let's draw the shoulders. And the shoulders are a little bit broad because she does have like some padding on her. So two lines going this way and this way. Okay, there you go. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just kind of get an idea where the, the head goes down about that, that much down. So I'm just drawing this as a guideline. And then what you want is like about this much shoulder like that from here to here, about that much. And then from here, we're going to start with the actual, actual shoulder muscle. Okay. So there you go. You want to try to make that symmetrical as well and draw lightly because you know, if in case you have some proportion issues later on, you can go back and fix it. No problem without your paper looking too dirty. Okay, so now let's draw the, 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 sorry, the lines that go down. I'm just going to draw the torso part. So here's the torso here and here. I'm trying to make sure that they're the same distance from the center. So just centering it as we go. And you also want to make sure that the torso is proportional to the size of the head. Okay, so here's the torso part, and then sort of goes narrow here. About that much. And then it starts to go wide again. So here's the waist about this far. Now imagine this is kind of a square, so it sort of creates this square shape. So you don't want to make it any longer than that. Okay, there you go. Just blocking it out. Again, here's the center. You want to make sure that you've got things going into the center. OK, 
Okay, let's draw the hips. The hips go out, out this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw this hip. Let me zoom out slightly. This hip sort of does this thing here, where she's got like, uh, she's got her hip kind of more on this side, leaning outward. So I'm going to draw, stick out the butt a little bit more this, this far rounded, whereas this sort of just goes straight down. I don't know if you guys can kind of sense what I mean. Okay, the actual belt is going to go down around here. So I'm just going to draw a line there. And then here we've got the butt sticking out a little more to the left and then down. I'll end it there. Okay, here's the crotch area. Now, imagine this, this goes down as well. And then this one goes out this way. So you guys can kind of see that there's a, a pose to it. Like she's got, she's got her body sort of leaning uh, on this leg more so than this. Okay, there you go. I'm going to end it right around here. That's where I'm going to cut it off. Okay, and then it's just a matter of getting all of this right. What I actually want to do is I want to put the shoulders a little bit more inwards because what you want to make sure you do is you want to make the shoulders sort of align with the hips. Now, a little mini lesson here. Let me just grab some paper. Um, there you go. With the female proportions, a little quick lesson. Female proportions, you kind of want the hips to be wide and the shoulders narrow. So here are the shoulders. Okay, that's what that looks like. You want these hips to sort of be wide or just as wide as the shoulders. Okay, so that's in complete opposite of uh, of the female figure or of the male figure. So there's the female figure right there. The male figure kind of looks more like broad shoulders, narrow hips, right? Because they're not they're not childbearing hips, I guess you could say. So the male figure looks the shoulders are a little bit more out this way. So you, that you always want to keep that in mind. So wider hips on females, narrower hips on males, and the shoulders are a little bit narrow. Uh, if you compare it to the the hips on females, that's what it looks like. On males, the shoulders are pretty like far out and it creates this V shape on the torso and back. Anyway, there's a little bit of lesson there for you. So let's adjust this to get that um, narrow shoulders look. Otherwise, it'll look way too uh, broad, those shoulders. Okay, so just judging from the hips now, just readjusting where I want my shoulders to go. And you know, it's don't be afraid of making mistakes. I kind of, when I first started this YouTube channel, I used to be so paranoid about making all these mistakes in camera that when I do make a mistake in the middle of my drawing, I end up scrapping the whole thing and having to do something again. So if I've been drawing for 30 minutes and then I make a mistake, I would start over because I felt, you know, everyone wants to have perfect videos. And so that was a waste of time. So I decided, you know, if I make a mistake on, on the camera, it's fine. No one's going to say anything. The my, true fans anyway, they'll appreciate the efforts. Okay. Here you go. Um, <laughs> didn't expect a, a little lesson like that with the, with this video, but there you have it. Okay. So her arms are going to be further out back. What we're going to draw is, um, let me just erase this line here. So it doesn't, um, kind of, it doesn't bother us, but here, here's our figure. Okay. Here's where it gets narrow. We're going to draw the, the chest coming up, coming from the armpits going this way. It sort of comes down to a point over here. That's going to be relevant to the costume later on. And then we're going to have her armpits, her arms sort of go behind her because she's going to have, so it's going to be behind her like this. So armpits go out this way. Her arms are going to, they sort of bend like this. Okay. And then you kind of want it to go up to just above this line right here, this narrow line. That's where we want our arms to go. And then right here, you kind of want the same angle on each forearm. Okay. Okay. Cut it off right there. And then over here, we're just going to have it 
let's make it kind of these squares, more rectangles than squares, but there you go. And if you guys did it right, you should have a very similar, you know, angle going down and then angling outward on each side there. You have it. So there's our base pose for our Captain Marvel. Let's go ahead and get started with the details. And again, I like to reiterate this because I always get it in the comment section. And I can tell if you haven't watched the video when you bring it up because I do address it in the video. But uh, yeah, we're not trying to make it look like Brie Larson, right? So let's uh, just get that out of the way. Okay, so let's uh, zoom in on the face, kind of, and let's work on the hair. I'm going to erase this bottom part here and just get a get an idea of where we want the eyes to go and the nose and everything. Okay, so we see where this circle used to be. I like to kind of situate my nose around that area. So that's where I want the nose and the mouth is going to be right below it like this, longer line. And then the eyes are going to be right here. All right. Now, completely up to you how you want to draw the face. I like to have like a little bit of a mix of the real thing and some cartoony, cartoony version as well. Okay, so zooming in on the face, let's just try to get this right. Grab a different pencil. Let's cut a sharp tip. Okay, V shape. I like to start off with the tip of the nose there and then sides of the nose here and here. Little dots for nostrils and then leave it at that. Okay, and then here's the mouth. I like to draw the line in the middle of the mouth. Bit of a bit of a smirk, very, very subtle smirk. So just Turn this up slightly at the edge. Okay, and then I draw the upper lip, starting in the center there. And then over here, lower lip is gonna be bigger, thicker than the upper lip. And then I just draw like this. And just try to get the right shape. Okay, and then you just fix your, your jaw along the way. Now Brie Larson's jaw is a little bit uh, more squarish and that's fine so it's less pointy there you go but if you don't want to do it like that that's fine too okay and then the eyes eyes are going to be right here along the eye line so two curves sort of coming from the side of the nose here i kind of start from here bring it up so right around here is where i make the curve so from the nose bring it up and that's where you want it. Now the hard part for me is trying to get these eyes symmetrical. So, especially if you're doing it in camera right here, I actually like to go really close up. But when I do that, it, it just, my head, the back of my head will just cover the camera like this. You won't be able to see a thing. But when I draw these tiny little details, I like to get in there. Okay. So now the bottom of the eyes are less rounded than the top. Okay, once you have the top line kind of the way that you want it, darken them to give the eyelashes impression. There you go. Let's draw a little bit of the bridge of the nose there. Here as well. And this sort of makes its way to become the eyebrow. I like to draw the eyebrow on females, especially as smooth lines. You don't want to draw them like, like zigzaggy, like fuzzy. You can do that on the guys, but for females, it's a, a more attractive look. If you draw their eyebrows as one solid clump, maybe clumps, not the word clump doesn't sound attractive. Uh, one solid piece. And I'm going to have to turn mine this way just to get that angle. go and for this okay so what you can do is you can draw the eyes what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the outline of the eyes like, or the eye, eye 
the pupils inside because this is going to be, I'm going to draw her kind of a, in her binary glowing, eyes glowing kind of look. So her eyes are going to be glowing. Her hair is going to be glowing as well. So um, you don't have to draw the eyes inside. There you go. Once you have this done, you also want to get the ears, by the way. So get those ears, top of the ears, aligned with the uh, with the eye line. There you go. Once you have this done, you kind of want to get an idea of where the forehead is going to be in her hairline. Now the hairline, you don't want to make it too big. So the hairline is going to be right here. There's going to be the part of the hair is going to be right around here. Some hair is going to go down the side. Okay. Right. If you look at your own face, it goes in front of the ear like that. Same thing over here. So it goes here this way to the front of the ear. And then you got some hair going billowing out this way as well. So there's our hairline. There you go. Zoom out. Now you can do this however you want because she does have, uh, she does sport different kinds of like hair throughout the movie. You can have it messy. You can have it billowing in the wind. You can have it glowing upwards like Goku Dragon Ball style because that's also, that was also in the movie and in the trailer. Uh, I did see the movie yesterday, by the way. I enjoyed it very much. And yeah, no spoilers for now, but uh, I really enjoyed the uh, the bad guy or the bad guys in the film, I guess. I, I enjoyed it. It was very, there were a lot of twists. All right, so now let's draw the top of the head here. And then kind of figure out how the hair billows out. So there's this tuft of hair that goes this way. It kind of goes like that a little bit too, like a little spiral. Okay, and then you got this hair going down from here. And then you got this hair, so we're drawing it into layers. So it's got that 90s layered hair look that is made popular by Friends, I guess, like the movie Friends. Okay, so here you go. So that goes out. And then go back here. Let's create this layer. And just make your hair go from this point going outward. Okay, and then there's this layer right here. And then this layer, which sort of covers part of her shoulder. And then there's the hair that goes to the back of the head. Okay, and then on this side, you do the same thing. So there's the hair that goes to the back. Hair going out this way, hair going down. And then just keep layering it on top. There you go. And feel free to create, you know, flame effects if you guys if you guys want the uh, binary look to it, like she's glowing. That you can have that sort of around the hair like this if you want to, which is pretty cool. But hey, that's what uh, we're going to do. Brie Larson does have a little mole over here, so if you guys want to add that extra mole just at the bottom of her left eye, feel free to add that. All right, there you go. There's our Captain Marvel face. Now let's go ahead and work on the costume. And the costume is one of my favorites in the MCU. I don't know what it is. I really like it. It just, it's a really cool, proper representation of the, the, um, the movie. Okay, so, or sorry, not the movie, the, the comics. Uh, it, the, car the, the costume has several layers. So there's this layer, which I'm going to draw now. It goes sort of from the armpit into the side here, to the side of the, uh, neck. There you go. Okay. So there's that layer and let's work on that layer first and then we'll, we'll work on the inner layer. So this is like thicker padding and then here, right here around the armpit area is more flexible padding. Okay. So let's zoom in and let's kind of work on that. Starting with the neck line, draw a line like this. Okay. Okay. And then remember this part sort of goes down like this, right? This is sort of the, the chest line slightly, the chest or the, just the below the chest, 
That's what it is. Okay, and then here's above the chest. I'm going to draw two lines going like this, intersecting here in the center. Again, you want to make sure that this is centered. This intersects in the center. And then I've got two lines going from here, going up like this. Okay, let's divide the neck part into those segments. So just to draw this ring from the neck to the other side of the neck that so there's the neck part okay this goes goes down like this and then I'm gonna erase that bring it down slightly there you go there's the neck piece collar okay double up on those lines okay and then here is the part where we draw the star and the star looks like well let's find a spot for it first kind of here to here so I'm going to use this as the center of the star so from here to here and here to here should be the same okay and then this way as well so we're gonna make a cross two lines one two so there's the cross right there and what you want to do is you want to find one two three four spots right here on each side and then you want to kind of create these triangles. So there's four triangles that sort of come together to make a cross. And there you go. But we're not quite done because what you want to do is you want to go back in between. You want to create these one, two, three, four little star spikes like that. You want to make sure that they're they're the same. Okay. And then from those lines, bring the lines from here to the center. And they should line up properly. And there you go. There's our Captain Marvel logo. And if you guys really want to go even deeper, just in between here, bring those lines back to the center. That gives it a lot of detail. Okay, so there's our Captain Marvel sign. Now we've got these two lines here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw a line above it like this. And then I'm going to draw another one below and another one below. So there should be like these two outlines and they're like gold trim. I did forget to mention or I haven't recorded the introduction yet. So I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to do that in the introduction um, that you can use this as the Star Force, Star Force Captain Marvel or the Captain Marvel Captain Marvel costume. All right, so now here what I'm doing is bringing lines going this way. Okay, actually it goes all the way down this way. And I'm going to double up on this one and this one. There you go. Okay, two more. One, two, one, two. There's a lot of these like little intricate lines in the costume, so that's why this video is probably going to take a while. Because, uh, yeah, there's just way too many details. All right, so let's, uh, in order to continue this, let's kind of start drawing the belt area. And where we did this line, I'm just going to create this uh, more circular, rounded line about the width of a belt from one side to the other, okay? Uh, she does have, from like here, line goes up, goes down right here, and then this goes diagonal, and this goes sideways. I'm gonna bring that a little higher. Okay, this goes to the side like this, and then you wanna make them all meet. So it looks like pouches of some sort, but not quite. It also looks like side padding. And if you guys just hang on a second, I'm going to grab my Captain Marvel action figure and I'll show you what I'm drawing. Ah, here you go. All right, so this is what we're drawing right here. So you can have this Captain Marvel 
uh, or this Captain Marvel. This is actually Minerva, but uh, Captain Marvel wears the exact Star Force suit. These two are actually pretty much the same, as you can, as you can tell. Just the colors are different. So this is what we're drawing. But if you guys want to color this uh, with the green and silver and black, you can do that as well because it's essentially the same. There you go. And then we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So line, line, diagonal outwards, line going out, line going out, and then bring this down. There you go. Sort of helps to make it, make the hips look a little bit bigger as well, a little bit wider, which gives it a very feminine look. Okay, there you go. So we've got the belt. Let me draw two spots here, two lines, two triangular points. There you go. Okay, we'll add more details to these a little later, but let's now work on this part. Okay, now we've got this right here. What we need to do is we need to find the spot here and here. And we're gonna bring it down to the belt. So it gets narrower as you go, and it sort of goes towards the buckles. Okay, make sure that you're following that center line there. That center line, we do need to keep it. I'm going to erase these, but we do need to keep the center line, so I'm just gonna make that darker. Okay, there you go. So now let's draw an outline. So you wanna outline this, going out to the side. And then going down. Okay, do it again. Here and here. But here at the top, it's going to be thicker. And it stops just right there. And it goes up like that. Actually, it does continue. And then it goes up like this. Okay, so let us, let's continue it actually and then bring it up. And somewhere here, draw the two lines. Okay, so those are the divisions. And then there is actually one more. So one going outward. There you go. Hope you guys are still with me. Now let's draw from here, this corner. This goes two lines this way, two lines this way. And then this goes down like that. Okay, so that's this line right here. Kind of hard to see on this figure. Okay, good. Now, let's go back over here and we're going to bring a line from here like this and then cross this and goes on this side. And I'll do that again, one here and then it crosses on this side like that. Okay, so from here, this goes this way crosses like that, and then one more, and then crosses over here. Okay, on this side, let's draw another line going out. There you go. And then create these, I'm almost creating this as a, what do you call it, like exoskeleton layer, so you guys can see that it's got like steps. There you go. And then from here, from the waist, so start at the smallest part of the waist. This goes this way and then down. And then do it again this way and then down. Okay, smallest part of the waist. Goes inwards and then down. And then once more over here, inwards and then down. There you go. So there's, there's that. Let's actually start over here and bring this one more down like this. And Okay, so there's the out, outer layer of her uh, costume. Now let's draw the inside layer. And let's go back over here to the shoulders. And I'm going to kind of just erase a lot of this. Let me erase a little bit of the hair just to make it easier for you guys. Right now it looks like she's only wearing um, this piece. So let's draw the armor. on this side as well, okay? So from here, I'm gonna draw a line going up like this, 
and then same thing over here. So there you go, that already divides it and makes it look like she's wearing like a layer underneath. Okay, and then line from here going across. There you go. Another line right here. Actually, it goes on the other side. <laughs> Excuse me, this goes this way and then outward like that. There you go. And then right here you see like this sort of half circle that goes to this side as well. Do that again. Okay, so now let's create the armor. So you got the shoulder piece. So let's draw that. And I'm gonna start right at this point, bring it down like that. Okay, I'll do the same thing on this side. Bring it down this way. I'm gonna make the shoulder piece a little bit thicker, kind of like this action figure here. So it goes out more like that. So it looks like actual uh, an actual shoulder pad here and here. Okay, gold trim around it. So I'm just gonna draw this outline. And then just a line going across like this and going across like this, and then like that, like that. Okay, good. Now let's draw the stripes. She does have some stripes going down, and it sort of goes into the forearm like this. There you go. So you don't see much of it, so I'm going to just simplify it for you guys. So let me just make sure I get those forearms correct. Okay, and then from here she does have the seam that goes down like that. And then from the armpit over here goes like this. Okay, so far so good. Double up on this line here just to make it look uh, just to make it stand out more, that's what I'm saying. There you go. Okay, don't forget, I erased the hair over here. You can draw that hair back. And over here, it's got some little bit of hair going down to the shoulder as well. All right. Well, this is a pretty long video so far, but we're not even, uh, we're, we're barely done. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify the arms um, right here, you can barely see it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the, um, what do you call it, the hands in a glowing state. Okay, so line like this and goes down and then goes across like this. Okay, and then just have this line kind of follow through like that. Okay, and right here where the forearm would be, there's like this padding or this mesh material, I guess, makes it look more flexible, it goes like that. Okay, double up here. And then, as you see over here, you guys, just draw one, two, three lines across. That's just, that's all I'm going to put. Okay, so double up in this line. One pair, two pairs, three pairs of lines going across. And then right here, one, two, three, four, five, six lines going like that. And there you go. Okay, I'm gonna continue this going down. And I'm gonna stop it right around here where I'm gonna draw the glove again. Okay, it goes like that and then it goes across. All right, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take a little shortcut with the arms and I'm just going to draw like glowing arms with the outline of hands inside. Okay, so I'm not going to draw the details of the of the hands. That way, this video won't be super long. Okay, but we will draw the outline. So one, two, three, four fingers. Goes in. There you go. Little bump right here for the thumb kind of going inward, okay? But what we're going to do is we're just gonna create 
an energy effect. So this energy blast, it's starting to look like that. It's glowing so you don't see the inside. And then draw these circles kind of just coming like that. And then this whole thing just becomes like this black, almost a silhouette of a hand inside there. So that's what we're going to do as a shortcut so that we don't have to draw the hands and so that this video won't take forever. And we'll do the same thing over here. So let's draw the outline. Okay, it looks like that. Here's the thumb. It goes like this, and then one, two, three, four. And then just from here where the Yeah, where, where the glove starts is where you can start your power up effect. There you go, glowing hands. And then just leave this as a black outline. Okay, and then that's that so far, you guys. Now let's sort of draw the, the thighs. There you go. So it sort of goes narrow as you go down. There you are. And just a bunch of intricate lines. Now I've got this right here. This sort of shows the crotch area. Uh, over here you've got like this trapezoid shape. Looks like that. Okay, so we'll start there. This goes down. Not too far, so right around there goes into the thigh, not quite the center of the thigh, and then it goes straight down. Okay, so this is what we're drawing right here. You guys see the action figure. Bunch of intricate lines there. Okay, same thing over here. So, but this one, it's slightly bent. So it's gonna look like that. It goes in and then down the thigh. Okay. Let's do it one more time over here. One, two, three, going down. Same thing on this side. There you go. Okay, right here, I'm gonna draw a line going across and that's padding. One there and then the second one right here. So this goes across and then another one here, parallel. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna draw one more line from here down, across, and then down now. Okay, right here, same thing. This goes like this, like this, like this, and then like this. <laughs> um, she's got a whole bunch more stuff going on, but uh, let's just draw one more. So this goes down, across like this, and then like that. Okay, and then right here at this spot, I draw this diagonal line like this, and then another diagonal line like this. This goes down, across, and then just barely, but along this line right here, just next to it, okay? Over here, just create this little triangular, it's actually a red patch right there. Okay, and then let's do the same thing here. So this goes down, across, and then this goes down like this. Okay, that goes like that. And this goes like this, down, across, and just along this side here. Right here, there's a red patch. Okay, there you go. Crotch line. Let's add some details to the belt. And then uh, there's a few more things, a few more details that I missed, and then we're, we should be good to go. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna draw a line just inside this little area here. Okay, this goes this way and across. Let's do that one, 
two times, and then one more inside. And then right here, just draw a line going across like that. And you should be good. Okay, and then on this side, same thing. So line here. Okay, one, two, going across. One, go across. And then this one just goes straight out this way. Simplified. There you go. And the last thing I do want to mention is from this point up to this point, there's like these triangles. One, two, and three. You guys can probably see it here. Can you guys see that? One, two, three triangles on that action figure. So from here, going down to there, there's like a triangle right here, a triangle here, a triangle up here. Okay, so zooming out, there's our Carol Danvers Captain Marvel figure, or Veers, if you guys want to draw Veers in her Stark Force outfit, that's fine as well. Uh, again, let me sh just show you guys sort of the energy effects. What I'm going to do, or if you guys want to do this, just have it go around her, her hair and you can actually just draw the hair going out even more. And then just these circular outlines or circular energy effects surrounding her. Just to create that illusion of a more of a powering up kind of like Dragon Ball. So there's the Captain Marvel. And I think that's it, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's one of the longer ones that I'm, I've done. I haven't done a long one in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Take care, guys. Bye. And that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys are very proud of your drawings. If you are, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and to Instagram and post your artwork there and tag me so that I can see it as well. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do uh, my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description on different ways that you can help support this channel. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, I can make content like this for free for you guys, so I appreciate your consideration. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, liked this video, commented down below, and most especially if you shared this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the uh, tutorial that's here on this uh, video. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of those are in the description, so be sure to read it. Finally, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.